Why, hello again. It's October 20th, and I think it was time for an update. I have here with me Dot and No Dot, and they're doing excellent. They made me wait two months for their first poo, but that was the last hurdle that we had to get over. From this point on, I've been able to operate with the assumption that they are healthy pythons. It was that production of feces that was the last hurdle to get over in order to be able to assume that they are healthy because we have no indication as to otherwise. So, I got two healthy little python hatchlings right here. Awesome. Many of you have asked for an update, and I've wanted to give you an update, but I really didn't have anything to say other than that they pooed, and I didn't want to have a, yep, they pooped episode and have that be it. I just didn't feel like that was, that was worth it. So, this episode, though, not only do we get to announce that, yes, they're doing fine, they're doing great, but also we get to talk about uh, what sex they are, because now it's October, today's October 20th, and it's time to find out, boys or girls, what do we have here? And I think that they are now old enough, they've been eating enough, they've adjusted to life and being handled enough to where they are ready to do something called popping the hemipenes. Now, I want to be very clear. What we're about to do here, this is not a how-to video. Um, I don't have a lot of experience popping any hemipenes, and in fact, the, uh, there's really only been one other hatchling that I've done it to. And I'm not even 100% confident as to how well I did with that one. So, I have uh, recently looked a lot at it, seen many videos on people doing it, and we're going to try it right here, right now. And we're going to find out dot and no dot, you guys, boys or girls. And, assuming that we can figure this out this episode, by the end of it, they will have their official names. So who's first? Well, No Dot was out of the egg first, so I guess, uh, I guess that's a good enough reason to decide No Dot should go first. We'll do Dot second. Uh, just to also give you an update, as far as Dot's little bulge that she has, or he, we'll find out, uh, it has, hasn't caused any complications, just a little bit when uh, Dot sheds. It doesn't shed very easily through this area, but it does seem to be looking smaller and it has not impeded with movement whatsoever. In addition, it is definitely like a skin situation, it's not organs. Again, the poo helps establish that, the poo and the urates. And really, it, it's just a little bulge that I can feel in the skin it's not going on with anything in the organs. Okay, so what's popping the hemipenes? You see, every single snake has just one port, one vent, where all the business happens. It's called the cloaca, and that's where waste evacuation happens, but that's also where sexual reproduction happens. It's where the laying of eggs occurs. So it's one, one hole to do all the business. Well. Inside the tail, if it's a boy, then the hemipenes are up inside the tail and they can be pushed out of the cloaca. This is easiest to do when they are pretty young. From what I've read, about a year or younger, those are the ones where it's really easy to do. And since this guy hasn't done it too often, uh, really easy is what I'm looking for. And if it's a boy and you squeeze them out almost like a rolling a tube of toothpaste, then the hemipenes will come out. There's two of them. They are a, a bright pink, a little bit longer than nubs, but sometimes you can only get the nubs out from what I've seen. If it's a girl, then you will not have that, and you also won't have any two little pink areas that are signaling here's where the hemipenes would come out. So, let's get right to it, and let's start with you, no doubt. We shall find out your sex. All right. So here's No Dot. Just to be clear, No Dot has been the feistier of the two. I don't want to cause any over concern with ball pythons. They are a very gentle, tame, docile species. However, when they are a bit young, they can be a little bit nippy. They're a little bit more aggressive. They have to be. In their case, the best defense is a good offense. And it's actually been No Dot here that has bit me before. You can see it was just a little tiny little nip. I've actually hurt myself worse opening up a gallon of milk before. 
So it's nothing to be concerned about, but they're a little bit feistier when they're young. So here is the cloaca. I'm just going to massage this open a little bit. No. Honestly, honestly, I don't know. I'm not seeing hemipenes. I don't really know how well I'm doing this. You remain undetermined. Maybe female. But maybe male. I still don't know. Okay, here is Dot. Let's see how cooperative your cloaca will be. That might be female. I'm not seeing any pink dots where the hemipenes would be. Maybe this would be easier if they're a little bit larger. Dot might be female, but might not be. I just think I'm bad at this. I'm going to have to make a vet appointment. Okay, so I don't really know for sure. Based upon the popping, we didn't get any boys that I could clearly see. And so we might have two girls here. See, that's just it. When it comes to popping the hemipenes, if you see hemipenes, well, that's a guarantee it's a boy. But if you don't see them, it could be that you just didn't pop them. And so, without having seen any hemipenes, the two I have here might be girls. <sighs> There's another way, though, to determine sex, and we're just going to have to do this, because I want to know. I don't just want to think or guess. I want high confidence in this before I name them. And the other way is to probe them. If you can find a herpetology club, if you can find somebody who's done this before, there might be people in your area. But also, if you can find vets that operate with reptiles, they likely can do this. Probing is where you insert a very small, lubricated uh, piece of metal into their scales, and you see how far deep into the tail it can go. If they're a boy, then it should go a few good number of scales deep. Five, six, seven, eight. That's because that's room then for their hemipenes. That's where they house them. If they're girls, it will only go like two, maybe three scales deep. So I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet, spend some money, and make a vet appointment. Luckily, there is one nearby. But I want to know! <laughs> okay, I'll go make that appointment. Catch you in a little bit. It's October 27th. Time for the vet appointment. Today we're going to find out, officially, if they are males or females. I went to the Cedar Creek Animal Clinic in Williamston and just a quick little wait and I got to meet Dr. Derek Nolan who was excellent and we got down to business. Okay, okay, we ready? got no dot and we are ready. So this is looking like a male to me. It's going right to my finger right there. Wow. Goes that far down. We'll do the other side too. See how it's going down to there. About that far. Uh, how many scales is that? About five or six. Wow. So that's male. Is there, do you, is there a reason why it won't pop as far as the hemipenes? Was I doing that wrong? I'm just always bad at it myself. <laughs> so, so this is no dot, and this one, based on my probing, is a male. Yeah. All right. Here comes dot. So I'm just missing it here, so bear with me. So this one's going to about right there. How many scales deep is so that? So that's going to be about three-ish. Make sure I'm going to get it one more time to make sure. Yep, so I got it going about that much. That's about three scales. Oh, well, that looks like a female based on this. <laughs> so so this, I feel pretty confident about that, so I think we're good. Confident then that the dot's confident a female? That's a female. Okay. She has actually like a small butt too. Or that's cloaca. The opening is just a little bit smaller than normal and a little, not much, but a little bit smaller too. And that may just have to do with, you know, the, the, all this other kind of stuff going on there too. So that's why I was struggling to get it in there. But so 
Anyway, I feel good it's a female. All right. Wah! Evidence. There it is. So it would appear, based upon the probing, we've got some now definitive evidence that uh, Dot is a female. And no Dot is a male. We also have some definitive evidence that I'm not good at popping hemipenes. I think it's that you got to push maybe harder than uh, than I was, and I don't want to push harder because they're little little hatchlings still, little babies. Maybe when they get older, though, if it is indeed true that no dot is a male, then I should be able to pop the hemipenes. And I think I just need to wait until a little bit larger. Then I'll be more confident in pushing harder to get those hemipenes out. But the probing, I don't think we need to question that. It was a definite difference in how many scales deep they went. But now that it's been said, it's time to name them. We've already had the names picked out, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, formerly known as No Dot, Magnus. And, formerly known as Dot, I present to you, the beautiful, stunning, Kadra. Magnus and Kadra. Hope you like the names. I already asked them. They love them. Alright? Thanks for checking this out. We'll have updates in the future. Say goodbye to Magnus and Kadra. See you next time.